buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, so we are back at it again with the top 10 list. But this one, we've clicked on small forward, includes secondary position, and we've scrolled through to find the top 10 best small forwards in 2K22, my team. So if you guys are excited, the like button down below and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Now, if you guys were looking for gameplay today, because it is a Tuesday and it's going to be content, I apologize. I won't be able to get those out today. Um, just have a lot of stuff that I have to do school work wise. Got to go in you know, a few hours early, um, get some extra stuff done, and stay a few hours late. So it's just a busy day for me. So I'm just doing a top 10 list. Uh, hopefully you guys understand but either way we can start off with andre kirilenko now some people may not love andre being on this list just because you know 8k doesn't have the greatest of offense but he is a six foot nine guy seven foot wingspan and the defense is just god he's one of my favorite cards that is using the game right now 90 interior 95 perimeter 97 steel and block and just has locked down in defense also hall of fame bullet passer and dimer on a power forward small forward i love it um, also, I would add a dead eye to him if you can, but he's got jump shot 98 on that normal timing, which may be a little slow to some people. If you've gotten used to some quick jumpers, but I think it's perfectly fine. He's not really a dribbler, but he can get inside, play amazing in there. He can still shoot the three ball great. He can play make as our small forward, power forward. He can play amazing defense, and he has great defensive tendencies all around. I love this Andre Karolinko. I think he's one of the most fun cards to use in the game. Give him that Steph Curry boost, and he now has a 99 perimeter and a 93 three point shot, and it's just time. next is going to be galaxy up with lebron james i know a lot of people love lebron cards and for good reason i mean the guy's six nine seven foot wingspan and can literally do everything that's why we love lebron cards out here i mean look at this i mean look at all the playmaking badges the shooting badges like the finishing badges the defensive badges the stats on him everything is just crazy we're talking about a six nine you know small forward power forward with 95s in his speed 95 perimeter defense an 86 shot three a 90 driving dunk pretty decent tendencies although not insane and a damn good jumper this year. I will say LeBron jumpers in previous years have been kind of trash. But uh, this year is not that bad. His dribble style, though, isn't the greatest. Has some pretty decent dribbling moves, though. Um, I kind of hate his layup package. It's not as bad as Kyrie's, but it is bad. Um, and he does have some good finishing to go along with it. If you just want to go to Jack of all trades, can literally do everything small forward. LeBron is obviously your guy. Next is Jason Tatum. I know a lot of people still love Jason Tatum, and I took DeMar off of my top 10 list just so I don't get too much hate on who's above who. Um, a lot of y'all love this Jason Tatum, and for good reason. I mean, he's 6'8", 6'8", wingspan, and has jump shot 107 on it quick, uh, which is a lightning fast jumper. It is super easy to green, and that's the one thing that this Tatum is crazy good at is just being a insanely good cone. Uh, he can chuck up threes with the best of them and has really good defense, uh, but uh, the reason I'm not a, you know, stupid high on this Jason Tatum is just because he has that base dribble style and some pretty bad dribbling moves, but he does have a good layup package. He's got great jump uh, dunking and defense and has one of the best jumpers in the game right now, which you gotta love. Honestly, once we get, you know, a dark matter Jason Tatum that has a quick or a shifty dribble style at some point this year, trust me, it's going to be a scary time. It's going to be scary hours because this Tatum so far is really good and he can't even move like the greatest, which is going to be interesting. Next is going to be Giannis onto the Kumbo, 6'11", 7'4", wingspan, and can play the small forward, which is crazy. Luckily, they nerfed him by not giving him sniper, but is going to be one of the best, if not the best, defender you can have there out on the court. As downhill and quick for step with a 94 speed at 6'11", which is just unreal, and is going to literally dunk on everybody. And the good thing about Giannis is even though he has that 76 shot 3 and doesn't have um, sniper, his Giannis jumper is on quick, is one of the easiest jumpers, in my opinion, to time. And if you had a Curry coach boost, oopsies it goes up to an 81 shot three then you can add a plus four three point boost and even 85 shot three Giannis with gold catch you'll be able to hit that it was a pretty damn consistently all around this Giannis is going to be an absolute menace out there but especially on the defensive end you know getting to the hoop dunking on literally everybody this Giannis is just going to be that guy out there although I do I guess I guess for uh sanity's sake I'm glad that his defensive tendencies are like this but if you're looking at you know making Giannis the best he can be I wish that block could dash on off all steel, which is a little bit higher. Uh, but that's being a little bit nitpicky because Giannis is already, you know, one of the best guards. In the game. Uh, next up is Thurl Bailey, who you could actually argue is better than Giannis. Six foot 11, seven foot wingspan, can play the four and the three, and is just godly. Uh, the great thing about Thurl Bailey is he's got jump shot 22 on that normal timing, and it's a jumper that a lot of people know, a lot of people have down, and a lot of people can just consistently green with, which is why a lot of people love Thurl. For some people, the honest jumper is too weird um, and too quick. So they don't like it. But Thurl has great finishing. 
Uh, Dealing with his entities are okay. They're nothing crazy. Uh, but if you just check out his badges, he has Hall of Fame, Quick First Step, and Downhill, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, Menace, Post Move, Blockdown, Pogo Stick, great defensive badges out there. As, uh, you know, Quick First Step and Downhill, which we love to see with a 90 speed on um, a 6, what, 11 guy playing our small forward. Um, it's great playmaking, awesome shooting. His finishing is absolutely insane. He's got a great post game along with that. I mean, post rise on Shrivel, you love to see it. Um, now, the one thing I think that uh, Thurl has that is a big step up from Giannis is a jumper that a lot of people are more familiar with and coming with sniper and hot zone hunter along with those corner hot zones the thing that's going for Giannis is he's going to be a better defender slightly and has a longer wingspan and just feels a little bit glitchier on the court so that's up to you the great thing about throw bailey is he's insanely cheap or in a galaxy opal so i would kind of lean towards throw bailey but both these guys are absolutely insane he can do everything that you need them to on the court as forward next up is the new Carmelo Anthony 6, 8, 7 foot wingspan. And I've seen some people are disappointed because he only has the normal jumper. And trust me, if they gave Melo his jumper on quick, this guy would be insanely next level. So I'm kind of glad they didn't. Keep him a little nerfed, um, at least for now, and then unleash him a little bit later. So with Carmelo, I still think he's one of the best guards in the game. I mean, we're talking about ankle breaker, hyperdrive, quick chain, and triple thread juke, all in Hall of Fame. To mix that with blinders, catch and shoot, chef, dead eye. Hot uh, zone 100, limitless spot up sniper. It is just absolutely insane. His finishing isn't crazy too. Um, what I love about him is he just has relatively basic, you know, animations that aren't blockable as or as easily blockable, which I just kind of like out there. And this uh, mellow never really gets blocked for me. His defensive tendency is kind of meh, but it does come with great defense. If you already are using the pink diamond, it's not as big of an upgrade as you would, you know, want out there. But in my opinion, pick up this mellow, kid him out to be a power forward, you know, brick wall box, full stripper rim protector. And this can be one of the best, you know, just forwards you can have in the game. And he has one of the most consistent jumpers. I love, love, love Carmelo Anthony cards this year. Uh, but it may have something to do with the fact that he's from Cuse. I'm a big Cuse guy myself. So, yeah, there's that. Next up on the list is going to be Kevin Durant, Galaxy Opal, six foot nine, seven foot four wingspan. And what else do I need to say? We're talking about a guy who is six nine, has the shifty dribble style, the Scotty Pippen behind the back and has hall of fame blinders catch and shoot chef dead eye dream machine limitless spot up sniper stop and pop quick chain quick first step clamps intimidator and menace along with really damn good defense <laughs> like uh kevin durant has one of those jumpers who does that does like pull you closer to the defender a little bit so sometimes there's some contests um that maybe you wouldn't normally have with other jumpers but you end up getting on kds which is you know a little bit unfortunate and a little bit annoying to some people I personally don't mind it. I still think KD is absolutely insane. This jumper is, again, to me, really easy to time. He's still playing good defense out there. And he can get shifty with a lot of his dribble moves. And especially that Hall of Fame quick chain is always pretty nice. I'm a big fan of KD. Uh, next up is, as you would expect, Galaxy Opal, Paul George. on the jack of all trades kind of guy. 6'9", 6 6'11", 6 wingspan. Dunks over everybody. Finishes over everybody. And has some lockdown defense. Oh, my lord. Uh, but sadly, because he's an Evo. No badges can be added. I would love to add a protector on a PG because that 80 block with that 6-11 wingspan is crazy. Uh, but the great thing about Paul George is the Paul George jumper, at least to me, is one of the easiest to time in the game. And that Paul George dribble style ain't too bad either. Um, PG is not going to be one of those guys who comes out and is going to feel like, you know, KD is moving around like crazy. But he is going to be one of those cars who can come out there, shoot a bunch of threes super consistently, especially off catch, lock everything down on defense, still play make pretty well, and can still dunk on literally anybody that he wants to as soon as he gets to the paint. Again, give him that Curry coach boost. Now you got a 99 perimeter, 99 shot three, 99 shot mid, and a 99 driving dunk. This PG, yeah, he, he goes dunk. And last but not least, it's going to be Dark Matter, Tracy McGrady, um, as a lot of people should expect. Um, he's in the small forwards list. Obviously, oh, he's going to be in the spot. He's in the shooting guards list, so he should be in the small forward as well. 6 8, Santa 7 2 wingspan. You really just you can't hate on T Mac. The trade break base, again, one of the easiest to time jumpers in the game. It does pull you a little bit closer to some people that are defending you. So sometimes, you know, this that I works a little bit more than it has to. But it is a damn good card out here. I mean, blinders, catch and shoot, sniper, circus, threes, dead eye, limitless spot up, sniper, acrobat, fast twitch, limitless takeoff, post riser, slithery, unstrippable, hyperdrive, downhill, quick chain, quick first step, clamps. Like arguably has all of the best badges Hall of Fame besides like, you know, a menace and intimidator and stuff like that, which is just crazy to see out there. Yes, he has his last dribble style, but I still like it. I still think he can do some stuff. And if you're a good dribbler with a guy like Tatum, you can get it working with Tracy McGrady. Trust me. One of the best catch and shoot guys in the game. Still has great defense and can still dunk on everybody. T-Mac, still 
a top small forward in the game. So uh, let me know what you guys think about my personal top 10 list down in the comment section below. Um, let me know what your personal list is down in the comment section below. Don't leave a hate comment about my list and don't leave your other one for us to hate on. Leave your personal list so we can also talk trash about it. It's just, you know, it's just how the world should work. I'll leave it if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We are on that right to 15k subscribers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.